Good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is my kitchen window this morning. It is very foggy. You cannot see across the cove. Um, this is my third voiceover. <laughs> I started talking and I got sidetracked by some political asper aggravations here. Then I got sidetracked by political slash health uh, conversations here. And I'm not starting off the day angry. So I decided to do a voiceover. Um, what I'm doing here is working in my composition notebook with my tiny stories, which is what I'm going to be doing for a while because it enables me to get out of my head and out of the current zone of the United States. And that's me saying, never mind, never mind. <laughs> um, and, and go somewhere else away from what's happening here in the United States and away from COVID. And I made a couple yesterday and I'm going to add to them. I did order, what I'm saying there is I ordered a couple more of those books because I want to put them in a Midori notebook. I just like that feel for whatever reason. But until they come on Friday, I think, I'm doing them in a composition notebook. So I've done a few more. Um, I'm going to add stories to those today. Uh, I had a clip that didn't come through again and it was not the speed thing on the camera, so I'm not sure why that one didn't come through or if that's not even a case anymore. Um, but these, t I so what I decided to talk about was storage of all this ephemera. Now, I have drawers, literally. I used to have boxes of magazines under my desk. About two years ago, I finally whittled those down and took out what I wanted and threw the rest away because I cannot keep every little piece of paper. I still try. Um, I do hoard paper. Um, yes, my name is Beth and I'm a hoarder of paper. <laughs> um, and uh, I have decided that I'm, I've had it separated into color themes, sizes, uh, themes, like animals or chairs or tapestries or color or uh, history or maps or blah, 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 blah. I mean, I've had it organized in so many different ways, so many different times. And I don't know if I've put this out there because I've done a couple videos and then changed them or got rid of the voice part because of the political talking and me saying things that I probably shouldn't say um, in the ether, although I think it's necessary, but anyhow, um, this is not for politics. You know, this is for art and play. Um, I So I don't know if I remember, I can't remember if I said this, but Bai Bun is one of the ladies that I follow. Um, her take on mixed media and collage and everything is different than mine. But she has a fantastic storage solution. Now, she does throw things away, which I don't know if I can do that. But she had her sorted by size. She had a tiny size. She had a medium size. She had a full page size. And then another little bit of a bigger size. I mean, bigger than half page, but smaller than a full page. So she had four sizes. And I thought, okay, if I can separate a box and put all of my ephemera together, whether it's store-bought, magazines, uh, paint pieces that I've done, stickers, whatever. Um, now, this will not include, like, sticker books, uh, things like that, but pieces of stickers, like those little dinosaur eggs there are just pieces of stickers. Those stars are pieces of stickers. Um, I feel like I could sort all of that into a box according to size. Teeny fragments like this box here um, in one section, uh, maybe four by sixes in another section, um, eight and a half by 11 in one section, and start there, start there. So that's what I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing in and amongst, you know, bathroom duties, cleaning. Um, and things like that, laundry, things like that. So, um, yeah, and I'll show you maybe tomorrow. Maybe it'll take me a couple days. We'll see. I do have a lot. It may be wishful thinking to think that I can sort through all that. 
in one day, but I can sit down and do it. So um, even when I'm propping my leg up, I can do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read you the stories of all of the uh, tiny, tiny stories that I have made up with these collages, starting with this one. So this one says the combination of wool and cotton makes a great quilt and offer a and often a zebra print rug. That's just the fun that you can have coming out of this. Now there's sheep in there, there's green leaves that are in air quotes cotton leaves. Uh, there's a quilt and there's a zebra print rug. Or actually I think that might be a little zebra. No, I think it's a zebra print rug. So that is just the fun and the layers. There's watercolor on here, there's acrylic, there is magazine pages, there are dinosaur stickers, there are star stickers, there's watercolor paper, there's Tomoe River paper, it's just all fun stuff, and it's all free game. Now this one, I have to admit, that dinosaur skeleton ahead is calling me, and it's going to be something about dinosaurs, and by the time I finish, I have more leaf stickers, more stars, an orange, um, painted paper from books, painted magazine pages, music sheets from a book, um, watercolor, and a Christmas tree sticker. And at the end, it all says, are dinosaurs stealing our oranges to suit their voices, or are they, or are, is it to help them jump through hoops? Now, there's an orange piece of book text that I painted that I tore a circle out of the middle, and that's the hoop. Um, and it did stem something that was going to be dinosaurs because of that dinosaur sticker. And that came from some two dinosaur specimen books that I made for my friend out in California, her kids for Christmas four years ago, three or four years ago. Anyhow, it's just fun stuff, fun stuff. I'm going to read you some more. <clears throat> um, I'm going through my pictures to get these, but I have a picture of each of them here at the end. All right, here's another one. My camera will let me do this. It says, oh no, that was the one we just did. Um, come on, yeah, that worked best right here. Today, I feel like I could do anything, even bike through the temples in Bangkok, or maybe that's where I'll start tomorrow. Um, here's another one. Oh, the one that has the koala bear says, Remember to bring your koala to the queen on Sunday, and the dress code is pounds too. There's a picture of a cartoon character that looks like a queen with a crown. There's a little tiny piece of paper that says, Don't forget to bring. And then there's a picture of a koala and a picture or a piece of houndstooth tissue paper. So why wouldn't you take that to the queen? Your hounds, your co-op, there's the hoop in the other one. Um, so these are just fun stories. There's one that has a lamp and it's a tablescape and it says the um, class equating yourself with your equating yourself with your blue side taught by Mr. Twain served wine and was well lit. There's there's two different things of lighting in it. There's a piece of paper that's half of the front cover of Mark Twain around the equator. Um, there is blue boxes and there is a piece of paper that says yourself on it. So of course it would mean the class equating yourself with your blue side was taught by Mr. Twain and served wine and was well lit. Oh, there's wine course in there too. So I don't know of any other statement that you could make other than that. These are the tiny stories I'm making and having quite a bit of fun doing it. So I'm going to let the video play on by itself. There's pictures at the end. Um, they're just short clips, but you can stop it and look at them. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow with some more tiny stories.